Hi guys, welcome back to another Steam free to play walkthrough. Today we have Amarok Dreams. I let's look up how to play. Lawsuit and Sprint to Run. This is supposed to be like a super scary game. We'll give it a try, see how it goes. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Give me one sec, I'm gonna turn my lights out so it's a little bit more scarier. Oh scary. Granted, it doesn't take much to scare me, but. Yeah, I usually get like super immersed when I'm playing a scary game. Look at that thing up there. That's scary looking. Dream part one. D-R-E-A-M. Look at that windmill. That's cool. I dig it. The gates are open. Uh, here we are. Oh, voice acting. Now let's find that key. Ah, uh, here we are. Now let's find that key. Let's find that key. Who would leave the key laying down here just like that? True. Maybe I should edit that part in because I got kind of lost looking for that key on the first playthrough. So I might just edit that in <laughs> instead of like being lost for like 10 minutes. Because I was lost for a good bit at the start of the game. So we'll just, I'll probably put this part into my actual playthrough. Um, I know I was only doing it so I could edit in if the tapes I skipped house, over, but... Why is it just a regular house? See if I can get this where you can hear it too. I might just enter this in hey, to the beginning. This game, Max. You made it? Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, that's, that's not, not a good... good. Well, the story's story terrifying, terrifying, mate. If only, only it could be done, done better, better, though. Done better. That does give me an idea, though, Max. What, what kind of idea? idea? Hmm. I, I do, do know, know some, some people, people who could remake the game, game in a better scale way. Hmm, sounds, sounds interesting. interesting. Have you heard of Unity before? I think I did, but I, I never knew how to use it. it. Well, lucky, lucky to me, I do know how to use some 3D modeling skills, if you know what I mean. And I could probably uh, get a friend of mine to help if you want to. Are we talking about remaking the game into a 3D version? I'm, I'm not, not just, just talking, talking about just remaking talking to me. I'm talking about making it come to life. I think I like this idea. So, so what do you say? Yeah, I'm definitely going to use this playthrough at the start. I'm going to edit this in. Just because it went a lot smoother and I could actually hear what that little doll thing was saying. It's cold in here. So, yeah, we'll play through this again. Okay. And then from then on, we'll use my original playthrough. Just because I just got stupid with lost at the start. Open the box. Alright, on the table there is a box. Open it. Oh, you it's don't have to tell here. me twice. It is cold in here. Oh, nice. What is this? A camera? Sick. What do I need this for? What's that picture of? Oh, I can't grab it. And a flashlight. Can I grab that? Can I not grab any of this stuff? Flame? How do I turn the camera off? Or do I just constantly use it? I guess we're going here. Door's locked. Thick. What is my quest? Door's also locked. All the doors are locked. Fantastic. Can I jump? No. I wish I'd take the flashlight. That would make a lot of sense to me. I guess we'll go back out then. Alright, what's that? Oh, it's a footprint. Sick. Mm. Footprint. Mm, Where is it leave? indeed. What is that? It's a videotape. Cool. Should I just follow the footprints? Or should I take this back? Find two more items. Oh, you talked me into it, I guess. Ah, oh, that's creepy. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six. Something, something. Freddy's a dick. Don't kill me, monster. Oh, what's up, fam? Wait, wait, wait. Is it going? Well, get. Oh, hell no. Hell to the nod, dude. I gotta go pick up that fucking videotape. What are you doing? Oh, is he actually. You're an asshole, dude. What's up? 
I gotta go pick up that video record. Oh, he's still chasing me. Oh, this is toxic. Get the hell out of here, son. <sighs> You'll never catch me alive. Oh, hey, oh, is this a dead end? Get back. God, he's so fast, dude. Wow, can you not? Chill, dog. What? Oh, that was tragic, dude. Where did I reach out from? The door, hopefully? God, mm. he was like waiting. He wouldn't pick Where up the stupid... Where does it lead to? I don't know, man. Am I supposed to be able to pick that up before he damn kills me? I don't know. It don't look like it, but we'll try it again, I guess. Oh, this dude's a massive dick, though. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. See you later. See you in hell, homie. Screw this and screw you. I'm getting out of here. Maybe. Oh, did I make it? Oh, thank it's God. Real. I can't believe it's real. The <sighs> stories that we told people are coming to life again. Daniel. What, what have we done, Daniel? And what are these three items for? The two are videotapes. Let me see what we have here. I don't think you can put a videotape into a laptop. Local news. School reopened. A local school named St. Alliston was reopened after several years of inactivity. It was reopened by its old student, Henry Clayton. He is now the headmaster of the school after the old one, Dallas Grimshaw. The school had dark years before. Because of several suicide attempts, two children have committed suicide in the school before it had closed its gates. Clayton said, I hope things will go better this time. Nothing like this the same before. Same as before. Will the school have its good name again? Henry Dallas. Mr. Grimshaw, can you hear me? Henry, is that you? Yeah, um, sorry for bothering you. Um, I know we haven't talked for ages, you know, since the school has closed. Yes, I know. Why have you called this late at night? Because I wanted uh, to. Um, I actually have a little surprise for you. Um, I've managed to reopen the school. I am the headmaster now. Um, it's in the I am the headmaster the now. Place. Um, hello? I am the captain uh, now. That's good for you, but do you really feel that it's a good idea? Why wouldn't it be a good idea? You know what happened in that school, don't you? Uh. All those years ago, under my responsibility. Yeah, I know, but we're just, just left behind. In the past, you know? Children <laughs> have committed suicide, Henry. This is a very serious thing. Committed suicide? Suicide. today. Didn't you say that you don't believe in this suicide thing? I mean, you've always said that it must be murder, didn't you? That's what the media wants you to believe. Two kids committing suicide in half a year, and in the same fashion? No way is it a coincidence. So yes, I still believe in my murder theory. Well, well yeah, I... I oh, it's kind of hard to follow. But things will be different now. I promise you. I will change everything. Goodbye, Mr. Grimshaw. Goodbye, Henry. Bye. Good freaking luck, Henry. Oh, what the hell? I didn't- Oh, wait. Go back. Let me see what we have here. Alright, this is the first videotape I missed. Hello, Daniel. Um, sorry for bothering you, bro. Um, I just want to tell you something really sick that I've done. Um, remember that school that we used to learn in? St. Alexander School? Now I reopened it. I don't ask me why, I just did it. I've talked with Grimshaw and... Well, he doesn't really like it, but... But I'll, to be honest, when was the last time he ever liked anything? It's it's interesting to be in his place now. Oh, and by the way, remember the story that we created? You know, when... When they... They committed suicide. You know, that we call, we tried to calm everyone down and said that the shadowy figure with sharp teeth and four arms is in the school. And that that creature is killing everyone. 
pretty weird way to calm everyone, of course. But they believed the story and they didn't even say the word suicide again. Interestingly, today's children still believe it and I heard them scaring each other with it. Some are even paranoid because of it. Even my son. I told him it's not real, but sometimes I see him waking up in the middle of the night and using a, a flashlight. You know what's weird? Uh, the schoolhouse, I never was able to get into it at any of the nights. It says you can't access this right now, but you don't get to access it at all. I just wanted to put that in there as well. I forgot to leave that in my like ending thoughts, but yeah, that's weird. You can't visit the schoolhouse, which is always locked, even though it lets you interact with it. Alright, let's get the other tape. Uh, instructions. Look around your room. If you see something, point your flashlight on it until it disappears and wait for a few seconds. If something appears in front of you, hide under your bed. Stay hidden when you're breathing. When you hear breathing, get back on the bed if you think it's safe. Okay, I don't really. This is like Five Nights at Freddy. I'm not a big fan of this one. Whatever, we'll figure it out, I guess. Games. That was quick. Dumb breathing, son? Ah, oh, damn it. Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. God damn, I hate that fucking thing. He was so, uh, he fucking made me flinch and I went under the bed. I was, supposed to, I was just supposed to watch him there. That's so toxic. <laughs> Made me flinch because he was so close to me. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. I feel like if I figure out how that one works, though, I should be able to beat it. The one breathing one where I go under the bed. Not the one where he's directly in front of me, but the one where he's, like, coming at me. That one gets me every time because I come out of the bed too soon, even though he's done breathing. That one messes me up. I don't know how to do that one. How long is three minutes? God dang. Three minutes is long. Like that one. That one right there always kills me. How do I... Let's just wait an extra amount of time or something. See, the breathing's done. Oh, sweet. I made it for once. Sick. He about made me flinch again. We're not done yet, please, God. Longest three minutes of my life. So there's a click during this breathing that lets you know when to get back up there. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, that was so long, bro. That was such a long three minutes. That was toxic. 
I'll probably have to go back to see that other videotape though. The one that I skipped over somehow. I'll probably have to go back and like edit that back in. Which is tragic, but at least it's not after that part right there. Ah dang. There's a monster over there. What is he doing? He's freaking out, man. Oh. What's up, man? Is that me? Uh-oh, I'm coming up from behind to kill me. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Oh, wait, no, that's a monster. Am I the monster? Ah! That's what it looks like he's saying. <laughs> Dream part two. That was weird. <sighs> so there's supposed to be three parts, I think. So, according to the description. Hopefully we'll make it. I don't know, that last part was pissing me off, bro. <laughs> like... Oh god, we gotta collect objects again? That one's... There has to be more of them. Does there? I need to be more careful from that shadow. shadow. I feel like I know it from somewhere. Sick. Oh, fucking son of a bitch. Alright. <laughs> Alright, that's cool, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Film me, dog. Uh. I feel like I know it from somewhere. I don't. Oh, wait, is he coming? Oh, he's coming to kill me. God dang it. I haven't even found an item yet. Is he done? Oh, that was weird. I'm going back over there. Give me the item. Get item, please. Is he gonna pop back up if I go over here? I wonder. Oh, son of a bitch, he did. He popped back up. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay, we're not going that way, apparently. Apparently, that is not the way. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fucking A! I'm stuck! I got stuck. God damn it, dude. What the fuck? Okay, so I know where the three things are now. I do. Good. Fantastic. There has to be more of them. Yeah, I need to be true. more careful from that shadow. That shadow! I feel like I know it from somewhere. Oh, I'm glad that doesn't kill me because I ran right into his fucking nutsack. <laughs> that would have been tragic, boy. Okay, so I need to run all the way to the schoolhouse so I can get past him. Because he's going to spawn right here. And then we'll run past him, run past him, run to the schoolhouse so he de from me. And then I'm going to go back and we'll grab that dang thing. Please de -ag. please de -ag. Hey, here is that at Grimshaw's office. Thank gosh. I wonder if he's still open. He's not so open. Plot twist. Alright, there's one more note in the clearing. He spawns over there, but he won't kill you over there from what I've noticed so far. So hopefully that remains true. Right over here. He'll spawn like over here somewhere, but... From what I've seen so far, he won't kill you. That scared me. Alright, we just gotta make it back to the house. Let's make it back to the house! So he does keep spawning in the same places, so at least you can figure it out after you die to him a few times, but it's really hard to find stuff when he's like... Oh, what the f... How was I supposed to... Maybe I was supposed to stick closer to the left inside lane? There has to be more of them. Try it one more time. But I need to be more careful from that shadow. From that I shadow. I feel like I know it from somewhere. Shut up, nutsack monster. Oh, man, boy. Oh, man. Monster's a complete jackass. Let 
Is there another way to get back to the place without freaking messing with him? Hey, here is that Scrim Shot's office. Oh, he didn't despawn. I wonder if he's still open. Oh, wow. Thank God. Wait, am I dead? Oh, he's glitched. What? Despawn, bitch. What's up? Oh, fuck this. Ah, he glitched or something because he didn't despawn. That was weird. I didn't like that. There has to be more of them. <laughs> but I need to be more careful from that shadow. I feel like I know it from somewhere. You know it from murdering us like 12 times in a row, bro. I don't think there's any like alternate paths to get around him besides doing this, to be honest. I don't think there's like another path you can take where he doesn't spawn. I think you have to spawn him. But recently he's been deagging at this place. Hey, here is that Scrimshaw's office. But last time he chose not to for whatever reason. Alright, so from my understanding, unless there's a way to get to that place through the trees, I think you have to stay on that left inside lane and run past him again. Because if you don't stay on the left inside lane, I died last time I tried to get past him. I don't know. Yeah, f screw you, dude. You're toxic. Is there a way to get out of these trees, maybe? Thank goodness. Oh, we made it. Great. Oh, God, dude. Toxic. <laughs> yep. This time we won't skip anything. Can I look back over the old footage so I don't have to replay this? Local news, strange events. In the last few days, strange events had happened at around S. St. Alston School. Years ago, at the time of the suicides, an unknown female figure was recorded by the security cameras owned by the school. No one knows who she is up to this day. Yeah, this dialogue's confusing. But Grimshaw said in 2003 she is associated with the murders. And they were never suicides. I say this to you before I leave. Clayton said to us, It's not proven. What Grimshaw said is not proven yet. More strange things. Today, the school of St. Alston closed its gates, but not forever. Just for only one day. Today at 7 a.m., writings were found on the wall with the red blood. The writing was revenge in Clayton, but the Clayton writing was marked out with the three scratch marks over it. What is happening with St. Alliston School? God! I hate this thing. Oh my god, I hate it. I'm sorry, we keep missing the footage. That's such... Oh my god. Alright guys, here's the last videotape. And I just want to say, I got to this point in like 12 minutes on my like new playthrough. And once you know what you're doing, this game is super easy. Except for maybe the last night, because that's a lot of moving around and stuff. But I just wanted to point out, that's another thing that the creator does to make you take jump scares. There's a lot of trial and error. But once you figure it out, it's a ridiculously easy game. Hello once again, Mr. Grimshaw. Well, 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 Henry. I told you not to do it. So you know about it? The whole local media is talking about it. What shall I do now? I'm not in a position to make these decisions anymore. Aren't you the headmaster, Henry? Yeah, but I need your help. We cannot have another dead child. If you don't want another dead child then you won't open the school again. Look, Mr. Grimshaw, the only way for us to fix this is to find the killer. Ah, uh, the killer. Do you think that the girl on the, that the cameras have recorded will just come and say, hey, I'm the killer? No, I doubt it. How do you know it was her? The only footage that we have from her is when she entered and left the school. That's all. And that's not suspicious to you? We saw her again. I will end it. One way or another, I promise. I have always trusted you, Henry. So please, keep your promise. Alright guys, so this will be the last message from Future Me. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and thanks for watching again. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I had all, like, a full coverage of the game before I posted my video. So I had to go back and get these two videotapes. Alright, back to your regularly scheduled program. Dude, you shouldn't have a way to... It should have a thing that tells you if you're going to continue or not. I gotta do this. Things are different every night. Be careful. Oh, Five for three minutes. Oh, you got me.
<laughs> he about made me flinch. I'm going under the bed. I wasn't supposed to go under the bed, I'm dead. Yeah. Okay, you're not supposed to go under the bed. You just gotta keep her where she's coming from. You can't follow her with your flashlight. Okay. I dig it. Maybe you're not supposed to. Maybe you are supposed to go under the bed. I didn't die there. Yeah, okay. So you just keep her where she spawns at. You don't follow her with the flashlight. Or follow them with the flashlight, apparently. Sick. Okay, that's how you do it. As long as you put the, put the flashlight where she comes from and not where she's going, you're good to go. <sighs> do 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 do. That's pretty good mechanic though, because I really do want to follow her with the flashlight to see where she's going. So, so it makes it very likely for me to die when she spawns on that side, because my instinct is to follow her with the flashlight. Glad I figured it out though before I die to her too many dang times. I died to her like four times or something, three times. Way too many times. Ah, oh, he about got me again. That one gets me too, because it always makes me think he's in front of me to go under the bed, but he's not. Alright, we're almost there. I think, anyways. Hopefully we're almost there. God. Aqua Teen Hunger Force on the wall? No, that's just fries. That was <laughs> Frylock for a second there. We done yet? Please. Long as three minutes, bro. I'm telling you, every time, it's the longest three minutes. Battery's dying, bro. I can't see. Has it not been three minutes yet? Oh, thank God, dude. What? What is this? Been kidnapped. He's too quiet. Who the hell are you talking about? Get me out of this. What do you want? Is this the back room or? Get me out of here now. Oh my god, dude. Just to let you know, the audio of this game is really badly balanced because it wasn't that my volume was down when he was talking. It's just that all the other sounds in the game were so loud and he was so quiet, it was like impossible to hear what he was saying. I couldn't hear him either.
Ah, uh, annoying. Somebody took us captive. I don't know who it was. or I know they got killed by the monster, but it's really hard to hear what the freak's going on. Like, I was loud. My character was loud, but his character was super quiet. And then there was, like, all these other loud noises going on. And that siren was actually, like, freaking ear cancer. Jesus. The Lost Child. It's all happening again. Set. I need to do something. But what? I'm screwed. Where is Daniel when you need him? I guess we go to the stupid-ass, uh... I don't know, I'm going straight to the school. I don't give a crap about that monster right now, to be honest. It's <sighs> all happening again. I need to do something, but what? I'm screwed. <sighs> yeah, Where I'm is screwed. Daniel when you need him? Is there a piece of paper over here somewhere, please? Alright, we just gotta find the third stupid ass object, and we're good to go. We gotta find the third object. There's one here. Ocho. And then there's one at the entranceway. But where's the third one at? <sighs> Hopefully it's not somewhere where he spawns frequently. Because that's annoying. I feel like it should be over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Sick. Oh, we got this. Too easy. Alright. I'm gonna go this way. Then we'll go to the entranceway. If he doesn't kill me first. Alright, then we run straight through here. Hopefully he doesn't glitch and kill me. Easy, boy. Easy. Go back to the big house. Kiwi's big house. God dang, dude. Yeah, you can... Mess right off, son. We did it. Hooray. Ah, uh, God. See if we can read all the first. Local news, missing child. Tonight, police are searching for a child named Peter Anderson. Still all across the neighborhood, but didn't come home from St. Alston School. The parents are blaming the school and Henry Clayton for the kid's disappearance. There is no sign of Peter yet. Will the school have to close again? The photo capture of the female shadow figure. Daniel. Listen, bro, I need to talk with you about something. Um, I, I don't want to talk with Grimshaw about this. I just want to talk with you. Please, if you're there, pick up the phone now. Daniel, please. Okay, I'll just leave a message then. Listen, today, um, a, a child had gone missing and... He didn't arrive home and now they are blaming the school. And blaming me as well. What the hell is this happening over and over again? I'm screwed! Please, if you're listening, call me as soon as possible. The whole local media and the police are on me now. Alright. Can we go back? No, of course not. But at least that time we got to see all the items I collected. I'll have to go back and splice in the other items that I skipped over on accident, which is super frustrating, but I'm going to do it. Because, dang. I mean, the game's pretty decent. The scares are alright, and it's... Challenging. It actually is really challenging. Um, basically, it's like trial and error. You got to figure out where your spawn's at and how you can get around it to get to the items. And in this part, you just pretty much... He knows why you're awake. Try your best this night to survive. It will try no matter what. Right. I forgot the button. I forgot the button. <laughs> Awkward. God damn it, dude. Oh, that was all my fault, too. I actually saw it. I just didn't react fast enough. It's so quick. God damn, this is annoying. Oh, fuck. Uh...
So fast, dude. At least the creator does a good job of making sure two things don't spawn at the same time, because that's something people like this usually mess up on. Is like there's something that usually spawns on accident, like twice, which gets you auto killed. At least the creator made it with that. That doesn't happen in this game, so that's pretty good. Give props for that, at least. But the fact things spawn as you're coming out from under the bed, that's annoying, honestly. That's really annoying. Can't see. Thank God, dude. Oh, my God, that was tragic. What is this, Barney? This is Piano Barney. Well, we're on the xylophone. Oh, that was tragic, dude. Oh. Is that me? Peter Anderson. Something from me to you. Don't you say I love you too. That's how it goes. To be continued. Okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get the <laughs> videotapes that I skipped over. Thanks for watching as always, guys. My thoughts on the game is it's interesting. I wish the dialogue wasn't so confusing. Um, that could use some work. But the scares are good, and they force you to get scared because they don't explain everything in the game. Like, some, like the first night they explain everything, and the other nights they don't explain anything. You just kind of have to assume. Um, which, like, some of the mechanics do play different. Like, the walking chick, you don't follow her with the light. You have to put it where she spawns from. And, like, uh, that last night where you can't see, it definitely gives you, like, a sense of stress and urgency. I would hate for people that were... You know how the thing spawns in like the window and the doorway and stuff like that? Uh, I'm so glad I didn't get one of those spawns because I literally couldn't see what was going on barely except for like what was right in front of me. I don't know if that's intended. Um, and you kind of just had to like sweep the whole room because things killed you so fast. Uh, it was really difficult. Um, but the scares were interesting and the game was pretty good. I can't hate on it. It was like kind of fun like trying to play through the mechanics even though it was really frustrating. Uh, yeah, and you kind of had to abuse, well, not abuse certain things, you had to conquer your fears by running past things. You can't just, like, because it'll just keep spawning in the same place when you're, like, looking for the items. But, yeah, there's four steps because it doesn't explain things. Yeah, but it's a good game. 
I would say. Uh, I thought it was fun-ish. Definitely had some like jump scares in it that got me. But yeah, the, my main complaint's the dialogue. It's really confusing, kind of hard to under understand. But yeah. <sighs> Thanks for watching as always, guys. Bye! If you like the video, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate that as always. Alright, let me play back through this. Oh, and that's another thing that pissed me off. Just, uh, sorry, I knew I was going to go back and get it already. But the fact that you can skip over things without looking at it, that's annoying. That needs to be fixed. Like, you shouldn't be able to continue without looking at all the items. God dang, that pissed me off. Alright, real bye. Bye!